Hi guys, Overarch here, and today I'm going to walk you through how to install Make Lobbies Great Again for Dead by Daylight. So, Make Lobbies Great Again is an add-on for Dead by Daylight that enhances some of the lobby's features. Uh, for example, it will allow you to show the killer's ping in real time during the game. You can also see the ping of every survivor, as well as you can see if you've blocked uh, either the killer or any of the other survivors that are there. So first of all, a lot of people think that this is kind of a scummy thing to use and not necessarily, it does depend on how you use it. Uh, in my opinion, it is kind of a dick move just to block, you know, killers that are good or uh, you just don't like playing against. I don't think that's uh, very, for one, it's going to increase your queue time and it's, it's just a dick move. However, I will absolutely block trolls or, you know, people who are lag switching or exploiting or something like that. So I don't have to play with them again. And uh, when I'm in the lobby, I just get a warning uh, that, uh, hey, I've blocked the killer and I can Q dodge and not have to play with them. Um, there are some killers that just try to ruin the game for other people, such as, you know, face camping leather faces. And uh, so I, I personally only ever use it on trolls or the rare lag switcher I get. Uh, you can also see if you've blocked another player by shift left clicking them. And uh, this basically prevents you from getting matched with people that you don't want to get matched with. And also gives you a better idea of what their ping is. One misconception is that this can get you banned. That's not true. The devs have actually endorsed this and said that uh, there will not be bans for using this. So you don't have to worry about that at all. So there are three links down in the description below. The first link is to update your Java, which is, uh, you, you have to have Java to run the program. So if you just click this red button here, it says free Java download, click that and you're done. The next is for NC NPCAP. So NPCAP is a unpacking software that is going to install Make Lobbies Great Again for us. So it makes the installation process really easy. We're just going to click this first link here, NPCAP.99 installer. And we're just going to hit run. That opens up. And here we go. We see you have the license agreement. I did have to uninstall it to show this to you guys. Uh, I choose not to start it at boot. And uh, that's up to you, though. You do need to check install NPCAP in Windows API compatible mode, which is the last uh, checkbox here. And then you just hit install, and you're done. So next, you're going to go to the third link. This is the GitHub page for Make Lobbies Great Again. There's this green clone or download button, and you're just going to hit download zip. You then need something to unpack that zip file. So here's the download. We're going to extract here, and I use WinRAW, which is a, a great and free program. And as you can see, we get a file right here. And then we are going to double click on mlga.iml and it will auto install. So it's a pretty easy process. Well, as always, guys, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section below. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.